Now we will see the decision nodes. The workflow has a task node, a decision node and two end nodes. The task will require that the user introduces a number. We link the workflow boxes with transactions. From decision nodes we can have two or more exit transactions. We assign two actions to exit transactions to differentiate them. Now we can set the transaction name trans1 and trans2. In the task node we have the get data task which links with the form. We are required to introduce a number. Now we will create the decision logic. Check that we have the OpenKM project opened. Now we add a project dependence in workflow project with OpenKM project. This is needed for accessing to OpenKM classes. We create a new class which we call Decision1.java. Now we copy the source code. We examine this source code and check that we imp are importing input class. The class implements a decision handler which defines the method string decide. Check that trans1 and trans2 correspond with transaction names. The method decide will return to a transaction name. Into this is used a variable called number, defined in form as input type. Depending on the number values, the decide method will return trans1 or trans2. Now we link the, de the decision node with this class.
Remember, in deployment, we should add all classes used by workflow. We deploy the workflow. We check the deployed workflow. We execute the workflow. We fill the form, for example, with value 10. We check the server log and we show transaction 2 has been executed. In login, if value is lower than 20, the decision node returns a trans1 value. We return to execute workflow. We introduce value 30 and now we show that trans2 has been executed.